Well, I promised a scrap run, and this is what we're going to get out of it. Um, I reckon I've probably got at least probably 1,500 kilos on the uh, vehicle itself, probably a ton and a half, that is, um, let alone what's on the trailer. So, uh, yeah, I had to pump up the tyres on the trailer because I usually run about 30, 32, around there on the, on the trailer, but I had to bump it up to about 42, uh, more because of the amount that's on there. The springs are just about flat. I'm uh, not sure how much space we've got in the tyre wise for towards the um, the, the mudguard but anyway um, I've got two IBC pods in here uh, just flip around this other side they're a metre by 1200 wide uh, so they only just fit in there so I had to put them in so that they were a metre each because uh, the trailer's only 8 by 5 uh, 8 foot by 5 foot uh, that's about 2.4 meters i think not sure i uh, can't work that con conversion out but anyway we're, we're only taking ferrous stuff we're not taking any of the copper or anything like that no stainless or anything like that might look like we're taking stainless but no i put a magnet on it and no that's not stainless um i always do that when i'm going through all the process of cleaning all this stuff up putting it in these pods that sort of thing i will be bringing back the ibc pods because they are so handy um i've made them so that they can only need they only need to go in with a fork fork them off and less work for me to take it all off because i know i'm going to have to lift most of this stuff off maybe he might be generous and put it on his forks there's two old fridges carcasses here uh, there are not very old fridge carcasses those two uh, but all this other stuff i'll that's easy just to throw off it's only out of dishwashers and that sort of thing all this top stuff i'll have to do the same um probably a bit off the back here as well so it doesn't fall off his when he's pulling it all out this back one will be easy to take off because he can get his forks in the back but the front one we may have to tow it out drag it out i've got a strap there that we're tied on with uh, i'll just hook it on so we can just drag it straight out and he can get the forks in I uh, got the old bonnet from the last scrap run that we done with the car. Thought I'd throw it in, see how much extra I get. You know, I, I'd like that comment where if I get a car, it's much easier. Well, it's not easy for me, but I'd get more money in the way of scrapping a car out by actually cutting it all apart. And I thought about it and thought about it and thought, yes, that's more logically doing it that way. I'll get more money, get all the plastic out and I'd get a lot more money because of the weight of the car. You think of the weight of a car, 1,000 kilos, ah, uh, yeah. So I'd be, get a way lot more money. Um, all this extra stuff down the side here, I'll probably have to handle by hand. Um, so yeah, I did promise a scrap run, and this is gonna be it. I will be putting all of this through tomorrow. So this is going to be um, a guess on how much we actually get for this. I'm not sure so your everyone's guess if you want to guess it go for your life uh, put a comment down below um, yeah so anyway I'll catch us up tomorrow I suppose Funny feeling, we got close to probably two and a half ton, maybe. Geez, there's some big steel boxes. Do, do, do. Let's go and find out how much we got on UHF Channel 2. I'm not going to bother with that, I'll just get up here. See what we got. Good 
get more fat ass off here. <laughs> oh, morning. Morning. Right and early, mate. You picked a day like this to come out. Oh, well, it's wet. you got to bring your scrap in, haven't you? Yeah, well, that's true, too. I want my IBC puts back. Do you? Yeah. Oh. There's four off. We're going to drag that one off on the trailer. Yeah, yeah. But we'll hand unload most of it anyway. Yeah, yeah in the in the crappy rain. <laughs> no, no, you see, that's who you're wrong. So. I do that, I know. <laughs> that's what I'm saying, I've got to do nah, that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm on the computer, mate. Yeah, I'll just, just write the regen yeah. and then I don't have to worry about it. Yeah, how much do we wait? Oh. He's a YouTuber. Yeah, mate. How are you? Pretty good, bro. What do you got today? Oh, all ferrous. Sorry? All the ferrous? Where's our scales? Oh, over here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's, um... What Holy dooly. What time was it in? Winter. Winter? Yeah, it's that time of year, you know. <laughs> Holy dooly, 5.46 tonne. Damn. All right. That's a lot of tonnage. Nearly five and a half ton. That's with the vehicle. Wow. Let's get over there, I suppose. Untie it all. It's going to have to get bins and God knows what. Thought it felt pretty heavy coming over. Looks like we'll be coming over here. I'll be quiet. Right here, gloves on. Let's get to work. Oh, wrong way. We might um, see what we can do in the shed. Oh, I've got a lot on the trailer here I've got to take off, like off the side here. Yeah. Right, because that's all handled stuff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, all that it. stuff on the back there I was going to handle off, and then I can do this myself, it doesn't matter. No, 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 I've got a, um... Well, you don't want... It's not that heavy. No, it's only drizzle, bro. I've got a in there anyway. Well, I thought, well, you got your bins over here, you see? Yeah, yeah, that's what we normally do, but... Yeah, but I don't, I don't think you want to be chucking it in that one. No, you're chucking it in with that, if that's all right. Yeah. All right, fair enough. So you've been watching, have you? I haven't. No, I don't know what you're telling me. Oh, damn. <laughs> I told you what it was. What was it? How everyday living. How everyday Ow. Oh, Ow. you are. Right, I'll just... Um, it's all good. I'll just grab my glove or whatever. Yeah, sweet as, bro. Hey. <laughs> Better back in. Geez, you got a lot in here. <sighs> Barely see out my mirrors. Ooh, that's it there. <sighs> I can't see. Wind the window down a little bit. There we go. Not see for crap. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. We'll give him out this weather. Oh, that's pelting down that. Put in dumpster diving, our everyday living. Yeah, everyday. Oh. <laughs> Every day is one word. 
Got a lot of cans, you name it. Ah, uh, that one there, I'm going to do. Seems odd you say that you'd damn near be overloaded, wouldn't you? Oh, I reckon I would be overloaded. <laughs> <laughs> 3,000 subscribers. Yes, you do. I'm a YouTube star. <laughs> Good hope. Good on you, bro. Right, I give you a lot of room that that side because I can turn this around, save you going both sides. Yeah, yep, hang on, hang on. You're cooked oh, up here. Yeah, she started pelting down there, Matt, didn't it? Yeah, I'm going to come back out. No, I'm not going back out, Matt. <laughs> Chicken! Well, if it don't, someone's going to get wet. <laughs> Hey, mate. Oh, shit. Struggling to find stuff you haven't pulled for. It was a wheelbarrow. What was that, sorry? That was a wheelbarrow. Wheelbarrow? Yeah. Must have been a old one. Yeah, yeah, she did an old one. Old lady gave it to me. Yeah. I right. didn't get the rest of it. She sit on the tire. Oh. Well, I end up on the ground. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Come on, yeah. We'll just get that water out. Wasn't much in it. No. You got all that dry ate? <laughs> I hope so. Uh, may have to lift them off. Yep. Yeah, get Where are you, Jeff? Unless you want to unpack it. Not really. No, <laughs> not the way. Ah, I thought you had it. He not had it and left it go. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I'll get rid of the water off there. Blame you. Oh, you're trying to rip us off with your water. <laughs> Don't blame me, blame the sky, mate. <laughs> Probably only a kilo. I'll have to miss that one, I reckon. Yeah, I reckon. What do you got here? Uh, got his portable jig with him. <laughs> I wasn't pulling it apart. Got some weight in it though. Go sideways. Down like so. Can dodge <laughs> Right. Ah, it's busted. Like it, mate. Got that one. 
and grab all the strap. There's a, a thing over there to hold it back with. Oh, yeah, yeah, Mind your knees. Oh, oh we don't, we don't the water. Good oh, drain in there. No, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> Too late now, let it go. Give it up. It's going that way. You'll know where the fall of your, your concrete is. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Makes a good swimming pool. Well, that's a duck to get off because there's a fair bit of water in there. Yeah, water that's there. from uh, that morning, travelling over. Yeah, right. I'm not worried about that. <laughs> <laughs> Can't help the weather, come on. About four kilos. For every, no, for every litre of water is a kilo. And you reckon that's four litres? It'd probably be about four litres. Four or five <laughs> litres? <laughs> no. Here, where have we got here? Yeah, just pull it out. Yeah. Oh, fair enough. Leave it on there. Yeah, yep. Yeah, you'll be able to get that one off. Yeah, but yep. Use the big long strap to pull this one out. Yeah. Because you'll be able to come in here and do that.
Let's come. The rest is the rotator. Keep going, right in. You got about a foot to go. Oh, he can go in further. Oh. Too dirty. Right. Two to go. Two to go. Mickey Mouse. Horses house. I'll do the light work. Be nice to have all that. Hell yeah. All that aluminium. Oh, they put a keg. Oh no, that's 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 stainless. Stainless, not alloy. Ah, big bin of it too. That's a big massive bin. Oh, there's two of them. They go all the way back. All that stainless. These are all their batteries. They stay locally here. What the devil we got in there? Aluminium shavings. Okay, more batteries, more batteries there. Wow. And then they've got all the other bins over there. Do this so they can pull it out. <clears throat> already got the other one off the trailer. Get rid of that crap, I don't want that. <clears throat> over there. Right, now, while they're out of here, um, still got some of our aluminium blocks sitting there too, some aerosol cans and what we brought a while back. These would have been sitting out in the rain for six months. No. No? No. What am I like? Five months. No, well see, what, what, yeah, what we'll it is, we'll is I've got them on a tilt like that. Yeah. So water does drain out. Yeah. We're going to get our track in here. Oh, yeah. Well, you gotta load them up. No, oh. Holy dooly. Well, I can park outside if you like. You've got to go put that one back in and then you're done. Fair enough. Get them wet things off. Go right over, I hope. Come back around and uh, see how much we offloaded. Got all our IBC pods back. <coughs> Damn this wet weather, making all the yard here all mushy, mucky, and yuck. Gloves got wet even. I gotta jump out and see what we weigh. 
my fat bum in here. Or yeah, 5.74 I think it was. It's good when you can come home, enjoy the sunset. It is sunny now. <laughs> After all of that rain, no, it was a mess today. But anyway, um, just enjoying sitting down on the veranda here and uh, enjoying the view. This is what I mean by the view. Damn good view. View's down there in the garden. Garfield's down there as well. Good old Guardy. We call him Guardy. What Guardy go? Meow meow. What a matter, mate. Meow meow. Meow meow. All the rest are inside. But anyway, um, better get down to formalities, I suppose, and let us know what we got for the day. Right, we only had pressing steel. Um, they took out a levy also for um, water and that sort of thing. as a 50 kilo weight levy because uh, there was a little bit of water in there and that sort of thing. So they took 50 kilos out. Bit ridiculous, but anyway. You take it over the over the way bridge, but that's what happens. But we weighed in at five uh, point four six ton, unloaded with our IBC pods emptied out two point seven two. So a gross total of what we put through in pressing steel was two point six nine kilos, which is two point six nine ton. So a grand total fifteen cents a kilo, three hundred one dollars and twenty eight cents. Not too bad, not too shabby. And they always take out the GST and blah, blah, blah. Well, see, we've got a GST here in Australia, 10% GST of and everything. So, yeah, but anyway. So I reckon that's a pretty good day's out. Pays for fuel going over and back. I reckon we probably put in oh, probably only $100 worth of fuel to go over and back. That's pretty good. So we still only come out of a profit of about $200 anyway. So I like that. It's worthwhile going over there. Uh, I'm not sure whether I'd get anything here in the local town here where we're at, but um, I like to go that way and, you know, it does take, what, about three hours to go over there, Doll? I think so. Yeah, about three hours. Um, and it takes less to come back because I'm unloaded and I can go quicker. I can only go over at about 85, 90 kilometres an hour, real heavy. So at least I'm not speeding and I'm not a speed demon when I've got a whole lot of weight on. It's the same as when I'm towing the RV caravan. But anyway, um, where are you going to go? No, oh, he's busy. Busy sniffing his tail. <laughs> but anyway, um, if you've come this far in the video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Um, and if you consider subscribing, don't forget to hit the notification bell. That way you'll get notified when there's a new video coming out. So on that note there, good old Guardy around here, he's getting a good old pat off June. A he's a big boy, he is. He's a mama Real mama big boy. boy. Come here. <laughs> he wants to play. Yeah, he's a playful boy. And you've got one sitting at the window. But anyway, um, yeah, we'll end it off there, everyone. Uh, happy dumpster diving. Happy scrapping. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Cheerio.